Hey everyone, welcome back to video two of two videos. Um, so I hope you guys have a chance to check out my grade three going into grade four summer book. Um, if you haven't, please go back and check that video out when you get a chance. So I'm back on here talking to you again about a daily science um, from Evan Moore. Of course, you guys know that I am a huge Evan Moore um, user. Evan Moore is probably a huge factor in our homeschool. I stopped buying science curriculums when my son went through his entire science curriculum in six weeks. I felt like it was just a waste of my time, wasting my energy because one, we are an interest-led home pretty much when it comes down to certain subjects and science is one of those subjects that we're pretty much interested led he's already met his requirements for our state so there's no reason for me to go and spend a whole bunch of money on a um science curriculum when i pretty much kind of let him do his do his thing and he loves these evan moore books all right so just to recap you all may have remembered i did a walkthrough of grade three and as you can tell these books have been loved on this year he actually finished this book and he finished this book the only parts he did not do in this book and some in this book were the parts that talked about dinosaurs i have mentioned mentioned this several times on my instagram my son has does not want anything to do with the dinosaur um we went over what fossils were we did a little bit of fossil work but when it started talking about dinosaurs he completely checked out not because he doesn't know them know about dinosaurs he knows a lot about dinosaurs he's just like eh, i'm not gonna do it that's just not that's just not his thing so the only thing that was not completed in this book because i like to keep it 100 percent real with my with my followers is the dinosaur sections in both of this these these books he did do the fossils parts of these books but he did not want to do some of the dinosaur parts and i was okay with that so this was a complete year of his science curriculum plus he's enrolled in science classes but this was our science curriculum for grade three as well it was it was for grade two so of course we have grade four which he will be starting this week because it is time he is ready um and so we will start daily science this week i'm probably gonna try to hide the skill sharpeners book until later on this spring but i don't know it depends on him he loves science science is his jam so let's go ahead and dig right into grade three so you can see what it's all about you may be trying to figure out like hmm what is does she keep passing back and forth here this teaching guy well this is new this year for the skill sharpeners books now let me just tell you that if you want to get a hold of this teaching guide, you will need to get your Evan Moore book from the Evan Moore website because the third party books like Amazon or Rainbow Resources or any third party sellers do not have the new updated Skill Sharpener Science books. And the updated Skill Sharpener Science books are not in the teacher file box. And so you would definitely need to grab this book from. You would definitely need to grab this book from Evan Moore to get the updated version of this book. We actually have the updated version to the new grade four math um, skill sharpeners. My son is already working his way through that book. And um, I really do love the redesign of the book. And so I'm going to be sharing that here on my Instagram later on this week. But um, I just wanted to let you know that this teaching guide that you see that I have here, which is basically it helps you um, teach the lessons in the skill sharpeners books. If you're just going to be using those, it comes with all these great templates in it. Um, all these kind of science journals in here. I love the fact that it has a K, um, KWL in here. I love that they give you a sample of how you can walk through the, um, the, the different assignments that are in the book. And here's your blank template. You can make photocopies of this. That is the whole reason why I put it in here. So I can make photocopies of it and I don't have to keep going online to get it. Here's the K, um, KWL chart. I love this part. Here is your vocabulary organizer in here. In here again, this is not available in the old books. You do have to get the new updated books, and you would need to purchase those purchase those from the Evan Moore website. They will not be available as of yet on, on Amazon, Rainbow Resources, and any third-party seller that has Evan Moore books. So this is one that you're gonna have to grab from the actual Evan Moore website. So again, these are some wonderful teaching resources in here. It breaks down each one of the topic areas in the book. 
and you'll see that as I start to flip through the book for you. So each one of the topic areas are in this book to help you explain to your child or present the material to, to the child. So this is a wonderful teaching guide for you to use for your planning or however you're going to do it. I'm definitely going to be using that, using this this year. I'm very happy that they came out with this. Um, so again, you can only get this in the new edition. So let's go ahead and flip through the actual skill sharpeners book. The books are the same right now. This book lines up exactly with the teaching guide. And um, let's go ahead and open this up. And to get the teaching guide, you it's not in this book. You will have, there will be a QR scan over here on this page. And you just scan it and it will automatically come up. So here we are. We've got our units here. We have unit one, our bodies and our senses. Unit two, shaping the earth. And then we have unit three, waves. And unit four, energy. So there is a lot of material that is going to get covered. And as you can tell, each one of the units has four different sections. So this is not a book that you can completely um, run through. So I tend to, what happens with this book is that um, majority, sometimes I, it will line up with what is in this book. And I've said this before, my son will go and do like Monday and Tuesday on one day. He'll do Wednesday and Thursday on another day. And then he will do Friday and then he will, he will pick up the skill sharpeners book. I'm not doing that this year. Well, not as we kick this off because he's going to be starting in the daily science book this week. Um, so we won't be able to do that. So typically, sometimes what is being taught in the skill sharpeners book will line up with something that's going on in the daily science book. Um, and I'll show you um, when I get over there to that book. So again, we have muscles. This book is very colorful. This is nothing like the daily science book. So if you're looking for a little bit more of, you know, um, a detailed weekly type of thing, then you need to go with the daily science. I like both of these books because my son loves science and he loves variety. So here we are, we've got um, Move With Your Body. It's gonna be talking about muscles and bones. And so we're just gonna flip through a little bit of this. Same lineup, same great material. You get your hands-on activity and then you get um, your experiment over here where their kids are talking about what they did for their hands-on activity or experiment. And again, this is a wonderful tool if you're just trying to line up some stuff with your student if they're doing virtual schooling or if you just don't want a, a heavy hitter science curriculum for your students. So they pretty much line up pretty much the same where there is, it starts off with the reading component to it so that what they're going to be learning about in this section and then it moves on. There's more reading, let's see, and then there's the concepts. And then we have visual literacy. So you will always know what part they are at in the unit because it'll be up here at the top. So we have visual literacy here. Then we have vocabulary practice here. And then you have your hands-on activity. And then you have applying what you know from your hands-on activity and writing it all down. So it pretty much lines up the same. Now, I have known um, some people to have their student do an entire section. Oops an entire section in one sitting. I personally don't advise that. I advise doing this over two to three day period of time because I feel like that you wanna make sure that they're just not doing the work to get it done and that they're actually retaining the information. So I would recommend you break this down in two different steps or two different days. That way you can bring in some hands-on activities, you can bring in some resources with videos, um, with uh, making crafts, just kind of make it a little bit more than this is just busy work, get their pages done and move forward. So it pretty much runs the same with the sections here as you can see. Very thorough, lots of good information. I'm really excited about this grade four book. And again, Evermore puts your answer keys in the back. And then of course you have your teaching guide here for the skill sharpener. So this is, I'm very excited about for this school year. So let's get into the one that we absolutely love here. This is the Daily Science Grade 4 book. Um, if you've ever seen me do walkthroughs on here, I tell you guys all the time that these books are in the teacher file box um, that you can take it, take advantage of. The teacher file box has kind of switched some things up. It is no longer free for 30 days. It's only free for uh, 14 days. So I, 
I highly recommend you check that out. All of these books, with the exception of the new releases, will new updated releases will be in the teacher file box. Um, so you can take advantage of those. Um, here is your table of contents. As always, in the daily science books, you get six big ideas. They're divided into five weeks, with week five being your unit review. I love that they have a unit review because you can use your unit review to pull out and put into your um, portfolios. So for big idea one, we're going to be talking about plants and animals. Big idea two, microorganisms. Um, big idea three, we're going to be talking about earth surfaces. And then we have properties of rocks and minerals, electrical energy, and inventions. And since we are going to be doing inventors um, for the month of February, I will be skipping down to big idea six. You do not have to do these in order. You can pull and do them as you please or you want to work them through. We do tend to work from start to finish, but because I saw that there's going to be um, inventions in here and that's something that we're going to be working on for the month of February, we will be doing um, inventors. So he will do big idea week one um, this week and then in February he will, we will skip down and we will do big idea six and go back after um, in March. So at the beginning of all Evermore books, they tell you how to use this book, the unit introduction, a weekly lesson plan for weeks to one through four, as well as your unit review. All of this is great information for you to have to use with your student um, for your lesson planning, and I absolutely love that they do that. So I'm going to walk you through a couple pages so you can see. You've got your teacher stuff here, your unit review here, which your vocabulary comes through. And here you have your introduction to Big Idea Week 1, what they're going to be talking about. He's going to be talking about beavers, build dams, and then, of course, you've got your vocabulary. What the vocabulary is going to be, um, everything that you need is all here for you. I love that there's talking points on here. This is a good place for you to start doing some research with your students to get them more interested in the topic that they're talking about. And so, um, again, each day you get uh, you get something to do on each day. So Monday through Friday or however you decide to homeschool. And the way we do things, he usually does two days at one, at one sit down. And then we talk about it. So here's a complete walkthrough. Again, here is your weekly questions. And then, again, it starts again with the next week coming up. And I'll show you quickly a week five what week five looks like so here's your your unit review here it comes with comprehension questions um meaning match so basically everything that they learn for this entire unit they should be able to demonstrate on the week five and if they can do that then go ahead and move on to the next big idea um if not i would highly recommend that you go back and look at those items that they did not get Correct, And this is a very lengthy weekly review. This is not something that they do like one page and then they move on. Um, it, you can stretch it over an entire week. So that is the Daily Science Grade 4. Both of these books I will put up in my, in my bio so you can go ahead and pull them down and look at them. Again, if you want to get the teaching guide, you will have to order this directly from Evan Moore and not a third-party seller. So into the next video, have a great weekend. Look out for the updated version of the Grade 4 Math Skill Sharpeners to be posted on my IGTV um, channel this week. To the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Be blessed. Bye.